Hey everybody, Pookie TBX. Wanna touch on something, man, that um I was gonna let um blow off, but then if you do that, they gonna feel like they gotta keep doing shit to try and get to you. So it's better to just, you know, cut it while it's here. Cut that shit the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? So the little dusty nigga talking again. Bullets Gotti, aka Pellets Thotty, aka Tatiana, aka Slut of YouTube, aka Whore of YouTube. You know the little nigga with the dusty afro. He is shaped like a goddamn bullet. Yeah, him. The nigga that wear his um little brother shirts and shit. Yeah, him. The little nigga that spit. But the shit sounds just like CB4. Yeah, the fake nigga. The fake gangster. I never seen no I never seen a nigga sit in the house so much and make all these damn videos. Where do you what do you what do you do all day, man? Your grandma support get out your grandma's shit, bruh. You know how much stress and goddamn pressure you putting on your goddamn grandma? Fuck wrong with you, nigga. You think she like coming home and seeing your dusty ass in there making videos all goddamn day? When she come in there with the goddamn electricity bill, you ain't got shit on it. But yet you got all this goddamn Wi-Fi because you keep asking her for the goddamn password every time she change it. You need to chip the fuck in, man. Because we know you ain't used that money to get the haircut yet. We know that. At least you could get the seven the seven dollar lineup, bruh. Something. You keep getting on there dusty as shit. And you thinking you phasing people. You not. I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm break this down, man. Not one person you talk shit about is scared, bruh. Not one. Not one person. That you keep running your goddamn crusty lipped, ashy ass face, dusty ass, afro ass is worried about you, man. You are a joke. Them people that's with you are laughing at you, not with you. Do you get that? Is that is that soaking in, man? And why the fuck do you wear a goddamn do-rag? Do you have waves, bullet? Excuse me, pellets. Sorry, I didn't mean to disrespect you. Didn't mean to disrespect your name, pellets. But, um, do you have waves? Are you trying to shape it a certain way? To make it look like the goddamn bullet, the way your do-rag is. You look sloppy as fuck, bruh. You look sloppy as a motherfucker. What do you do, man? Sit on there and talk shit knowing nobody can get to you because you're in your grandma's house. And ain't nobody want to disrespect grandma like that because she already being disrespected by your dusty ass. Facts. Get a fucking lineup, bruh. Look, even mine, man, right now. I'm woofing right now, man. You see that, man? I'm woofing right now. But I'm going to get a lineup tomorrow. How about you, Bullets? When are you going? To, when are you? Can you make a video of you getting in the chair, man? For your first goddamn haircut? Can you make a video of that? Maybe that will um get you popular more, man. Make a video of them cutting that dusty shit off your motherfucking head, bro. Because it's not waves. It's not an afro. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's a mix between some nappy ass shit. But a hell of a dry ass coating on the motherfucker. What the fuck you got? What kind of style is that, man? Talk about all these people, man. 
And I guess since Sayonetta and uh, Hassan's beefing, you got beef with Sayonetta now. But you was reversed when you was beefing with Hassan. You was with Sayonetta. You just a, you a thought, nigga. You a goddamn thought. You a goddamn black China, nigga. I hate to tell you, you are Amber Rose. I hate to tell you, you are Kim Kardashian. You are every Kardashian. Including Bruce Jenner and Caitlyn Jenner. That's you. Sorry to inform you, man. Because I know none of them niggas in your comments going to inform you on some shit that's real. Obviously, they want to see you get killed. Obviously. The way you playing with these people in your neighborhood. I tried to warn you, man. But you don't want to take heave, nigga. I tried to give you that Biggie Smalls warning, nigga. But you didn't want to take heave. You still ain't running your goddamn mouth about niggas in your area and other niggas. That niggas that you... I don't understand this. You argue with niggas that you see on your screen that's getting money or working or whatever they doing that can easily take an Alaska Southwest flight and be in your borough. I don't think you want that, man. I really don't. I really don't. Because we know if it was face to face what it would be like. Come on. We all seen the video, fam. We know what it'll be like, pimpin'. But by that time, ain't nobody wanna hear it. It'll be too late. You'll be bitch slapped all across your motherfucking burrow, family. Is that what you want? Huh? You want it to be done like Pretty Tony? Make you stick yourself? Huh? Stop, man. If something bad fucking happens to you, fam, do you understand that? Huh? You got niggas in your area, bro, that you done pissed off. And you're going to keep talking about Alpo, but I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. Snitch or not, a killer instincts never leaves. Facts. Never leaves, bruh. You talking about Sayonetta. Why? What's the point of that? And he didn't come in your chat room to talk shit to you. He, I, I, I seen what he said. He was calm, polite, and just told you to back the fuck up. But no. You still want to shoot these Nerf-ass daggers. He's got them Nerf balls. But niggas gonna hit you with them two two threes, man. You keep playing, it's gonna you gonna be another Jesse Smollett out this motherfucker. Ain't nobody gonna believe you. But you're gonna be lit the fuck up. I'm telling you, all you need to do, fam, scurry your ass across to the nearest CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens. Anything, right? Sneak your dusty ass into the hair care product section. Grab you a motherfucking blue magic or some of that goddamn coconut oil. Or just use what I get that olive. That's the best. Keeps that shine on it. See, but you don't know what them things is, so we want to, you know, fill you in on some shit. But you go in there, you ask, the, you ask the lady at the counter. Pull your do-rag off at the counter and say, Hey, ma'am, what I need for this? And when you pick her up from laughing, and she finally get a clear mind and point you into the right direction, you will see what I'm talking about. As soon as that, ooh, as soon as that black magic settle in that motherfucker and suck it off, nigga, you'll be looking like a shiny... Dusty nigga. So what you do is sneak across to that CVS nigga. 
Go on that good aisle with them good products. Take that do-rag off and please wash it because I know it's funky as all get out. I know that. I could tell by how you got the motherfucker strapped on like a goddamn football leather helmet back in fucking 52. Facts. I don't want to have to do this to you, man. I can go on all night, nigga. All night. You never show your kicks. Never. And I don't even want to, I don't even want to imagine what the socks is like. Don't even want to imagine. Mm -mm. Not, not. Don't want to imagine those. Get yourself together, young man. You still got a you know a life a, you know life ahead of you if you make it past the goddamn street. If you jump the fuck off the porch, cause we know you never jumped off the goddamn porch. We know that. What you do is you go and watch YouTube and you go and watch these fucking videos and you go and watch real niggas and you get magazines from delivered to your house because we know you ain't going nowhere. So you get magazines delivered to your house, you know, like the source or the or you know the old school shit, and you want to see how how do you be a gangster? You watch CB4 like five billion times, so you got it down pat. You've been practicing in the bathroom with your dusty ass brush that you don't use. You know what I'm saying? Singing in the mirror, rapping in the mirror. And you just and you know you spit some raw shit. But that's other people's life, fam. Not you. We know this. You spitting other niggas' facades, man. You spitting other niggas' lives, man. And I say facade because the shit that you spitting is, is, is not real anyway. Any gangster that made it to this age that I am or anybody else that you talking about it, they know that shit was all a fucking myth, man. Ain't no street code. Ain't no street. No nigga owned a goddamn street. The white man did. Facts. We just survived on the motherfucker. And made a little bit of money before we even hit the pen or hit the jail or in the fucking ground, nigga. You playing with this life, man, and it's not a game. It's not. It's not a fucking game, youngin'. You get your fucking head knocked off. Go out there with the wolves. But I forgot. I forgot. You in there taking care of grandma, putting the goddamn being gay on her for the fucking 10 bucks. Just to get a 10 spot. So you can pick up that bullshit Reggie. Like you do. But hey, you know, it is what it is. I ain't gonna go on you all night I could. Cause I'm feeling that way. You know. But um, yeah. Closed casket, nigga. Petless thotty. Get your shit together, nigga. <laughs>